Okay, so this is Mario once again, and uh, I'm almost finished with the trike. As you can see here in this video, it's coming out very nice. Um, this is exactly what I was looking for after I did the uh, first uh, prototype or the, you know, the kind of my mock-up, which is this model that's sitting behind here, as I was uh, explaining in the previous video. So this is the frame. It needs minor tweaking. This uh, section here, this uh, uh, tubing needs to be about an inch higher. And this section right here needs to raise about another maybe uh, maybe inch. And so that's what I'm working on right now. And you know, I got a couple photographs that I printed you know, with the layouts. The first one that I did before was just to get a rough idea. Uh, this is a, a new printout. And what I'm doing right now is I'm working on the, on the front section or the front steering and suspension for the front wheel. I want to get this uh, setup to not only um, work, you know, like the, uh, the real thing does, but also I wanted to be able to take some of the uh, beating that's probably going to take, uh, being that this is going to be a radio control model. And typically sometimes you know you land hard on the front wheel so i want this to be very very sturdy and this is where the re-engineering comes into play um, not to mention that the frame itself it has been re-engineered you know to make it uh, look like the the frame you know the real frame is welded and there's a lot more pieces and a lot more little uh, um, plates that they get welded it's a lot more complex it's got a lot more going on here i mean there are bends of tubing uh, there are plates uh, that get uh, triangulated and, and, uh, and attached, you know, to the frame. There's a lot of little, little uh, components and brackets and levers and things of that nature that get uh, built as, as part of the original frame. But, you know, for the radio control model, you don't need that complexity. And so what I've done is uh, to re-engineer this so that it works not only um, in, in a similar fashion, but it's it's a little more simpler, you know, for radio control models. You gotta simplify some of these things. They don't need to be as complex. <clears throat> you know, I'm not building a replica that's going to sit in in a museum. You know, static. This has to work. It's got to fly. It's got to be lightweight. It's got to be able to take some abuse during uh, rough landings. Okay, so this is the front section, and uh, so I was saying this has to be re-engineered, you know, to work in the in the radio control model. I want this to be able to. Uh, be robust um, you know work like the real thing but be able to also take a lot of abuse here this is the front section that takes a lot of abuse on a trike radio control airplane the rear landing gear wheels you know they don't take as much abuse you know although you sometimes you land you're supposed to land on the rear wheels first and then this comes down afterwards uh, typically you know when you're flying this and until you get the the hang of it you know you're going to be landing a little bit hard here and so this is why i'm trying to make this really really robust here the steering mechanism here or the forks for the wheel i'm thinking of doing something like this you know coming down with uh and this is all squared uh, tubing you know the really really solid tubing i think i'm going to do it very similar to that landing gear you, know, you can see how that is how that works except that this one needs a stronger uh, um, uh, springs and these are my own kind of springs that I uh, selected, you know, for this application. It's very similar also to the Mia BBW, the Benson Brock Wallace uh, Auto Gyro that I did, uh, you know, almost, Jesus, more than 10 years ago. But it's the same idea with the landing gear here. You know, the one in the back of my prototype here uh, kind of was was in in those lines. But, you know, this is just a mock-up here. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a working mock-up. But you know, I'm refining that almost, almost like that one. That was the uh, BBW, and of course, this has straps that allow this to act as a spring without using you know coil springs. So on this one here, I'm doing the same thing here, just because I know that that system has worked in the past and it works really well, uh, you know, when when done uh, properly. And so I'm going to be implementing the same. Um, uh, forks and steering mechanism on this one right here and the distance from here to here is plenty distance you know for this landing gear to have a cushion you know when when taking a hard landing and so this is going to be my fork here 
and I'm going to make a plate here. This is going to be uh, uh, another plate uh, made out of uh, G10, you know, uh, heavy duty uh, G10. And I'll do this geometry here, you know, to make it look like that. And it'll have the uh, some spring mechanism here. So I'm considering this fork uh, at the back here. What this also allows me to do is the original has the forks at the front here, and then they have a secondary uh, link system to the pedals. And that's how the pilot controls the, uh, you know, the uh, the steering on the real one. Uh, for this model here, you know, I don't need to have, go to, with the um, the extra uh, secondary um, uh, pedals uh, and linkages. So I'm just going to go with a straight fork either here, or I'm going to move the fork over here and just create some geometry here so that it brings the footrests to this point here where it needs to be. Now my footrest has to be, you know, in scale according to. Uh, this uh, trike and also the uh, the one you see there it's about six inches from from the very end of the seat to the center line of the footrest so I like the way the pilot sits there and that's the way the pilots should sit in scale form on the on the trikes you know you can see how well that, that pilot looks sitting on the trike and I want the same effect on this one even more so because this is more uh, you know this is a high-end uh, um, high-end uh, trike or micro light so you know the geometry has to be done uh, correctly and this is you know what's taking me a little bit longer here to uh, to work uh, all these angles and all this geometry before I start cutting parts but very much you know I'm, I'm almost done here uh, that's the uh, the trike let me pull this back you know, it's looking very very spiffy uh, it's gonna be a super super nice uh, <laughs> air uh, I mean just just without the covers you know, I am going to mold uh, covers for this, you know, to uh, uh, give it a body. But even even so, like that, I mean, it's it's coming out super super nice. Uh, I mean, the seats. I didn't have to do much with the seats. These are my own seats that I use on the uh, um, Quicksilver Ultralight, and so they're working very nice here. You know, as as the the just the hard seats. These will have cushions that I need to manufacture, and um, you can see how that's that's looking. Oh, it's looking really spiffy here. I have to do my control bar triangulation here. Those parts are going to have to be uh, manufactured. Very similar to the one behind it and also to the one that I did uh, many years ago. This is the original uh, trike that I did for the uh, robotic pilot. That green one there is the original trike uh, with, the, with the pilot that controls the trike via the uh, arms. It's got servos uh, you know, on the torso and it's got a uh, you know some um, specific geometry to allow it to control it just like the like the real one so you know that can also be employed here and it's something that I have not yet decided but will when we get to that point I'll be discussing more about that but the options are there I'm going to uh, go ahead and, and just uh, finish my geometry here for the front section and then I'm going to be cutting parts and then I'll be uh, showing this with the front uh, steering and also I have to manufacture some brackets you know, very similar to the track right there you can see those brackets so I'll be doing the same on this one here also very similar to the one that I did on this one already is my mock-up and it's got very similar brackets um, and so this one will get some uh, brackets made. I still have to do the uh, um, the shock absorbers. These are just mock-ups right here. It's just a you know just a tube here just to support the uh, the, the landing gear struts. Uh, but eventually this is going to get the uh, you know the uh, the same uh, shock absorbers that I show on the track that I discussed earlier in the another section of the video. Um, the back section I have to manufacture this part right here which is my motor mount this is just a mock-up it's just a wood plate that I you know cut to size just to attach all these pieces here temporarily but eventually that's going to be a uh, machine part that's going to house you know the uh, the motor it'll have all the uh, slats and perforations you know for the for the motor similar to the one that I saw with the 1.25 trikes and once that's all done I'll come back and then I'll start working on my control panel you know this is kind of the 
the layout for the control panel just in, in scale. You know, it's, uh, it's looking a little bit small for some reason. I don't, I don't know if, uh, if I need to uh, check my dimensions again, but I'll, I'll do that. I'll check my dimensions because this control panel uh, looks looks small. I mean, in, in comparison to the hands of the pilot, you know, this, uh, these uh, dials and uh, gauges, you know, they're about, you know, they're about four inches. Uh, you know, the larger ones are about four inches in diameter. And then in scale, it's coming out a little bit smaller for some reason. So I'll, I'll have to check on that and, and redo, uh, if I need to redo it, I'll redo it. It's just a matter of reprinting this and, you know, cutting a plate. And then just from there, you know, I can uh, cut the back plate. And from those two plates, you know, I, I can do my, my mold. If you're familiar with doing uh, molds, you know, basically you start with, uh, you know, cross sections and then you work your, you know, you need a front and the back and, and just a profile from the top. And then you can, you know, make your make your mold out of that with the uh, 3d programs that we have these days you know it's real easy to just take this geometry and just plug it into the program and generate your front top and, and side views and, and then from there you can have your you know your 3d model that you can take into a cnc machine and just have it done i mean that's basically the way i i do most of the uh the canopies and molds you know i, I do the geometry uh, and then i bring it into um a 3D model, and then from there I generate a tool path, and then I take it to the CNC machine and just let it, you know, let it sit there, let it cut. These parts will actually be vacuum form. There's, there's um, a lot more work to be done here, but you know, as I said, I'm, I'm very inspired uh, by by the way this is coming out. E even I mean, with all the uh, the parts that have been uh, re-engineered and um, and rethought out using the hardware that I like to use in all the uh, the products that I, I make, you know, not only for self-enjoyment, but also for for, ki uh, for the public, you know, as kids, you know, this is the hardware, this is the way I like doing things, and it's become, you know, like I said in many videos, you know, our trademark uh, approach, uh, and I just learned a long time ago that you cannot go wrong with this. You know, if I start drilling, if I were to drill little hole, tiny holes, you know, through the tubing and, and try to make it, you know, like some people do models, you know, with tubing, uh, you know, you weaken the surfaces. I have a whole section on my website where I talk about the assembly of the uh, Quicksilver that I discuss these things and the reason why I like doing these attachments the way you see it here and the way all the tracks that I've been producing, you know, since the time I started producing tracks and making them available to the public, you know, they're all done this way and, and you, you know, you can't go wrong with this, uh, this setup here. Uh, it doesn't weaken the surface. Very sturdy uh, surface here because I don't drill through through the through the walls of the tubing. I mean the ends are drilled and that's about it. Anything that I need, you know, if I need to connect to the center of a tube, I don't I don't drill and, and use a bolt through there. I use you know a clip, you know, like uh, I mean these seats could be drilled. You know, I've seen some people drill you know through uh, uh, plates you know for seats and stuff like that right through the tubing. And what happens is when you drill that, you know, you weaken that surface. And it's just not not the way I like I like doing things. By the time the the cover is placed um, over the model, you probably won't see this really spiffy uh, geometry here and all the all the framework. Um, I mean, this could be flown, you know, just like that, without the uh, without the body, and it still looks really really cool. Um, I mean, once the wheels are in place, once the sh the you know the real miniature sh shock absorbers that I'm going to be working on next. Uh, are in place and once every, everything is done and you know the, the, the handle and the pilots are there this is going to look super neat so it's becoming a, a great little project for a long time i've been wanting to do the tanaric you know the, do it properly and um, and also the the rebo two two of my favorite um, uh, micro lights that are on the high end are the uh, rebo uh, from Re uh, revolution uh, trikes and the tanaric you know from uh, air creation they're the best ones that, as far as i'm concerned that that are out there you know i started with this basically because i've already had all the drawings all the plans and all the details uh to make this into a, a scale uh, model and uh and since i already did you know the uh, the trick which is also made by air creations the real one you know that kind of built into this model here and all this stuff that i've been doing i mean i've done so many trikes i lost count you know the, the number of trikes that i've done not only in this particular size but in little sizes and you know and even bigger ones you know, so this is nothing new for, for me to do. And um, if I really focus on, on the project, you know, I can I can whip this in about a day, you know, the frame. Oh, it'll be just like the real thing, you know, once I'm done with this. Stay tuned. Come back to my videos. I'll be posting some new stuff. Take care. So once again, this is Mario with me on my flight. Stay tuned for more.